You want to begin your installation job by adding these corner posts. Full back easy posts are about four foot in length and not only do they insulate, but they square and shim the job. Easy posts can be cut with any thin bladed knife or a circular saw. Easy posts accommodate for the base thickness of full back siding insulation and are required for proper installation. Insert easy post plus outside corners into the vinyl corner post. With easy post plus inserted, install corner post as per the vinyl manufacturer's instructions. If using a manufactured inside corner, an easy post plus for inside corners is also available. Insert inside easy post plus corner behind the vinyl inside corner. Nail through the vinyl nailing flange. J channels for windows, doors, and trim work. In order for the J channel to properly receive the thickness of both the vinyl and the insulation, a 1 and 1 8 inch J channel is required for full back, and a 1 and a quarter inch J channel is required for full back 125. Now, if your distributor doesn't stock the appropriate J channel, your distributor can order Easy Shim which will help you space the J channel away from the base of the wall. These shims can be installed under the standard J channel. This will allow the full back insulation to be installed next to the shim and the siding can fit into the standard siding trim pocket. Now when you start your insulation, you want to start with this easy start starter strip that accommodates the thickness of your full back insulation. First, Snap a chalk line to establish the wall line according to the manufacturer's specifications. If using a starter adapter, insert the groove of the starter adapter over the outer edge of the Easy Start starter strip, making sure the back of the starter adapter is flush against the nailing face of the starter. Second, Allow a quarter inch space between the starter strips and adjoining siding accessories to allow for expansion and contraction. For best results, alternate nailing high and low in slots provided. Attach the siding panel to the starter strip. Then before securing the siding to the wall, drop a piece of full back insulation behind the siding. Do not nail the foam to the wall first. Fully seat the remaining full back foam panels in the first vinyl course and butt the foam edges tightly together. Three full pieces of full back will support the length of one siding panel. Move the siding panel fully into its final position and nail it to the wall through the vinyl hem and foam. Now remember this vinyl siding is designed to be hung and supported by these siding nails. You don't want to nail them too tight. Now to check it, you can move this panel horizontally back and forth for free movement. To ensure flat, tight seams, be sure to install the full back behind each siding lap joint. Butt the foam panels tightly together and tight to the corner post and window lineal. Cut the siding to fit the area to be covered. Attach it to the siding panel below. Move it into position against the full back. Nail through the nail hem and foam according to the vinyl siding manufacturer's instructions. Make sure the distance between the top of the vinyl panel's nailing hem and the full back panel's butt above the hem are of equal distance along the panel before nailing. Now there are several ways to apply vinyl siding under windows. You may want to just continue with your current technique, but there are some situations that may require some modifications. Well, for example, due to the cut height of the vinyl panel for the top course or under windows, you may need to nail a three quarter inch J channel inside the J channel you are using to securely fasten the panel. Sometimes you may even use a utility trim inside the J channel, depending on where the vinyl panel profile is cut. To install full back beneath a window or gable, measure the opening to be filled or covered with full back. Cut the full back to fill the opening. Insert it into the space to be filled. Then cut the siding to size and shape. Install the siding and nail it according to the manufacturer's instructions. 
Now in cases where the distance between the vinyl siding trim pieces is very close, nail the trim pieces as you move up the wall with the full back and vinyl siding. This allows you to pull out the trim pieces enough to tuck in the vinyl siding. In cutting around penetrations, use a mounting block where possible. Fullback is all about superior design, ease of installation, product support, and field tested performance. You know, a job with Fullback is like no other vinyl siding job. There is no other product on the market that is as effective in closing sales and increasing referrals than Fullback. Well, my name is Matt Fox, and on behalf of all of us at Progressive Foam, thanks for joining us.